Leah here again from the Tofino Community Food Initiative. And if you remember from one of the previous videos that we planted out this cute little um, container of mescaline greens, and I've actually transplanted some of them here in this garden bed. Majority of the little greens were um, lettuce. And what I think might be either a spinach or a chard, because it's a mescaline mix. I'm not really 100% sure, and I'm sure it'll reveal itself soon. And I could probably try one of these and find out, but we'll let it be. So I'm going to transplant some of them into these as well, um, because we're going to be having a seed swap soon. And you might be one of the lucky people to get one of these mescaline greens. So um, how we do that is first we prepare our pots here. So what I've done is put some uh, pro mix mixed with some of this garden booster to give these little plantlets a really good start. And I've wet them really quite a lot and I've put a little hole in it. I like using like chopsticks or these kind of sticks or even just a stick off the ground to make a nice little hole really deep because the roots as you see when we pull these out they have quite long roots and we want to make sure they have enough room to grow down and fill this container before it transplants out into the garden or a bigger pot. So um, how we do this is we gently pull out a clump so I just kind of dig down to the bottom of the container and I pull out a clump really carefully here. And then what you can do generally is with most, well not most, but some seedlings, is you can just um, pull them apart. It's called um, pricking them apart. This one looks like it's actually a spinach, so I'm gonna put that in. It doesn't have its first true leaves, so normally we wouldn't be um, transplanting at this point, but because there's such a, a mix of greens in here, I thought we'll just um, transplant some of the bigger guys here that definitely need to be um, prodded up. So you can see we're just gently pulling them away. Best to carry it by the um, greens rather than the roots. And then you can gently place that clump right down into the pot, right up to the first true leaves. Um, and then fill in soil around it and just gently press down so there's contact between the roots and the soil. And there we have it, a nice little potted plant.